Hi, my name is Julio Alejandro. I am a petroleum engineer by profession. I was studying English at Focus Your Mind, and this is my final project. The topic that I chose today is, as you can figure it out, the GOAT, Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, the main reason that I love football since I was in my mother's belly, as long as I can remember, is because it's the most famous sport in the world and also because a lot of people follow it and play it. Nowadays, with the new technology and new rules, we're talking about two monsters, Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, who have been sharing a stage for more than 15 years. In the present, with all the records won and the importance of winning matches for yourself in final instances and against world-class teams, I think we already know who's the winner of this match. Please give welcome to the greatest of all time, the GOAT, Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah. Like the attention girl, I know you, know you. but you're everything I want in life. Yeah. We're fighting danger like Kung Fu, Kung Fu. the love I feel is deep inside. Ronaldo was born on February 5th in 1985 in Fuchao, Madeira, Portugal. It's a small island of the western coast in that country. He is the youngest of four children, born to Maria Dolores dos Santos and Jose Diniz Aveiro. He was named after Ronald Reagan, one of his father's favorite actors. His mother has been his fundamental pillar in his life since ever. Thanks to her and the values that she entered into him, he's able to keep his feet on earth. Cristiano Ronaldo has a wealth dream. From his collection of luxury cars to hotels and perfumes with his name and brand. He's also recognized as a sex symbol. You know. He's also recognized as a sex symbol. <laughs> you know? He has four children and another on the way, and his beautiful bride's name is Georgina. He started in Sporting of Lisboa, but he passed later to the best uh, teams in the best leagues, like Manchester United on the Premier League, Real Madrid on the on La Liga, and later to Juventus on La Liga. And he scored many many goals. Like you can see in the image, uh, more than 800 goals. Uh, that is, nowadays, is a very, very uh, hard record to break. It's also compared with Lionel Messi. They share stage in the top level like 15 years, and they could maybe the top football players in the world history. He also scored more goals than one of the best players in the world history, the King Pelé. We also have Michael Jordan Wolf. He's considered the best basketball player in history. He said that Ronaldo is also the best football player in the world history and he shared stage with him. Ronaldo was recently awarded with the Guinness World Record Award for more goals than any other player in the history of leagues. The most shocking about the case is the words that he says later. He said, thank you to the Guinness World Records, always good to be recognized as a world record breaker. Let's keep trying to set the numbers even higher. Keep trying, you know? This man, if you could say so, doesn't satisfy with anything. One of its most flagrant phrases is I don't pursue records. Records pursue me. I love this meme. Sorry. <laughs>
I have to share it. Also said, is there any other player with more records than me? I don't believe so. Aparece Carvajal dentro del área, sigue el ataque del Real Madrid. Bonus Cristiano. Oh, That was a Chilena from quarterfinals of Champions League against Juventus. Amazing, right? Well, let's go to the second stage of this video, the human side of Cristiano Ronaldo. Many people see the trophies and the awards that he won, but most of them doesn't see the sacrifice and loss that he have to suffer to get where he is now the greatest player of all time. I want to invite you all to see what Ronaldo does behind the curtain. Ronaldo is not only the greatest player of all time, he is also trying to put his granite of sand and help the one that needs it, either in an economic way or giving his time to fulfill the dream of many. And he is also a bone marrow donor since he take care of himself in a pickable way. Jose Dinis Aveiro died on September 7, uh, 2005, at the age of 51 due to liver failure while his son was concentrating with the Portugal team to play a match against Russia to qualify for the 2006 World Cup. His father was a soldier who survived a war by drinking beer but ultimately died of alcohol. The Portuguese soldier who arrived in Angola suffered terrible conditions. The water was not an option to drink and it was contaminated and the only drinkable liquid was a local beer. It was there that Aveiro began to destroy his body with alcohol since that was the only escape from thirst. Cristiano Ronaldo regrets that when he became the number one player of the world his father couldn't see him, but the possible thing is that he had another father, his soccer father, who he called it that way, Ferguson, who welcomed him like a son, fed him with greatness and advised him so that he never forgot the most important thing, the family and enjoy this wonderful game called football. Oh. At the end, don't forget to learn about the gold. Be strong, never give up about your dreams and go beyond your imagination. I wanted to thank all the people that make it possible friends, family, and coaches, and like Cristiano Ronaldo says. Muchas gracias, afición. Este para vosotros.